Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a uh, request, which is for a review for Fleur Musk um, from this is Narciso Rodriguez, a um, bit of a mouthful. Um, you might have seen my um, original Narciso Rodriguez Eau de Parfum Eau de Toilette perfume review. Um, I love this perfume, it's one of my favourite, favourite perfumes. I really rate it. Um, I think that it's classic, it's feminine, it's sophisticated, and it's high quality and it lasts really long. Um, I just think it's a great perfume that you can't go wrong with. So when they released Fleur Musk, in 2017 i was super excited to see what it smelled like and excited because it came in a nice and um, bright pink bottle as well um so as you would expect from um the name fleur musk um this is a floral musky fragrance um so the originals um in case you aren't aware are um very very musky with some um, sort of green floral notes underneath but primarily you get like this very feminine powdery musk and um, really classy kind of like the musky element of perfumes like Coco Mademoiselle but without the sweeter side. What they've done with Fleur Musk is put in lots of rose smell um, so you get that very feminine but very modern rose smell so don't think old-fashioned old lady rose think modern fresh garden rose and there's also some lovely peony in here as well um so combined and wrapped around by that Narciso Rodriguez mask which is in here just the same and what you get is something that is quite similar to the originals but a little bit more um floral and therefore perhaps a little bit more feminine um whereas the original is I would say more neutral feminine this is more like girly floral feminine if that makes sense <laughs> you've got patchouli amber pink pepper in here as well but they don't come through all that much and um i would say that this is one of those perfumes that is very similar to the original but that's not a bad thing because the original's so nice i believe that this has done really well in terms of selling um and like sells just as much as the original ones really i think i would describe this kind of as like a big hug um, and I would describe the original ones like that as well. Um, perhaps what you could do is you could wear the original Narciso Rodriguez ones in the winter and then once all the flowers start coming out spring summer you could move to the Fleur Musk version. Um, I think that could work quite well. Um, or perhaps have like one for day and one for night or you could even mix them together to be honest. Um, but if you have um, the Narciso Rodriguez um, Eau de Parfum already, then definitely try this. I think you'll like it because it is quite similar. Um, and in terms of lasting and all that, I think it's, you know, just as good. Um, and they've done a really good job with this one. And it's pretty bottle. So it's a nice present. If you know someone likes floral fragrances, I think this is really um, safe present for them. Um, I think it'd be pretty hard to dislike this perfume um and I think both men smelling it on women and women are you know I'm not saying everyone's gonna be love it but I can't imagine anyone being like oh no that's horrible um because it is like just like a flattering neutral feminine smell um so I think quite a good present in that respect so that's it. I hope you found that review useful. Um, check out my review of the Nososo Rodrigo's Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette. I'll leave the links below to that um, and links to some of my other perfumes as reviews as well that you might find useful. Um, but that's it. Do let me know if you'd like any other perfume reviews. I always listen to all your requests. Um, but that's it. So thanks for watching and see you again real soon. Bye!